Hello and welcome. Today in this video, we're going to be discussing ways to find answers and get assistance when using Tecla structures. Specifically, we'll focus on the Tecla User Assistance website and how to navigate it, as well as understand and refine search results. So now, let's begin. The Tecla User Assistance webpage is where you can find product guides, support articles, tutorials, and more. It's the online user manual for all things Tecla structures. There are a few areas in which answers can be found, and understanding what those are and how to navigate them can help you get results faster. Users can navigate to the Tecla User Assistance webpage, often referred to as the TUA, right from Tecla Structures. You just go to the File menu, then Help, and then select Tecla User Assistance. On the TUA homepage, there are several avenues presented for users. First, there's the Learn How to Use section, which provides resources on getting up and going with the software. Many of the links contain tutorial videos on functions or processes within Tecla. This section can be navigated by a number of different criteria, such as user type or functionality. By choosing one of these options, users can then further filter to a specific subset or category of information and then browse the results. Browsing by topic is a way to jumpstart a broad search on the whole of the TUA. The links provided here present a section of common terms or searches for a given criteria, such as like detailing, modeling, or numbering. Users can search further on these topics by clicking below to have the TUA perform a broad search using that keyword. Then you can review the results or use the left-hand side pane to further refine them. Filtering via the side pane is an excellent way to reduce the results if they feel overwhelming or you're unsure of the exact topic title you're looking for. Ensure that you're only searching for the product and version applicable to you, and this can help significantly reduce some of the results on the screen. If a topic seems too broad, you can try refining the keyword search at the top left. It's also important to point out that you can search the TUA at any point using the search bar at the upper right of the web page. When searching, the TUA will look for matches that contain both the entire search phrase or just the words within it. Filtering by most relevant will prevent results that contain the strongest matches to your initial search criteria. For example, searching for modeling beam or simply beam versus modeling is going to provide far more specific results if you need more information on creating beams. You may not always know the exact Tecla specific term, but there are a few things you can do with your searches to help provide targeted results. First of all, the term create is often used in article titles on the TUA. If you are looking to make or model something in Tecla, utilize that term create. For example, searching create layout points versus just layout points or even layout will produce more targeted results for you to review. Additionally, the term example is often also used. Although it seems self-explanatory, these articles aim to provide examples in specific use cases. For example, if you're trying to figure out how to better utilize the organizer, search example organizer, and there are a number of specific results. Other common key terms that you can apply to your searches would be insert, tips, or even define. This last one is most applicable to topics that specify criteria, usually relating to creating reusable settings, tools, or like layout, or even layouts in drawings. When searching, it's best to start broad and methodically refine your search terms based on the results that you see. If searching for the term layout gives too broad of results, then be more specific with layout points or drawing layout, as either ones are separate topics but share one common term. The last avenue for finding information on the TUA that we've yet to address is the product guide. The product guide is probably the easiest and most effective way to find out how to do something or what a function does. Knowing how to search as we just discussed, is helpful, but best practice is to first check the product guide. This is the case for two main reasons. The product guide is already laid out in an organized fashion. Navigating its tree is very easily. 
Secondly, the majority of search results that you will find are part of this product guide. So navigating the tree helps eliminate the need to know the exact terms for your search criteria. Instead, users can follow the broad hierarchy of topics and continue to refine them. This can often reduce the time to find relevant results versus just searching. However, if you don't find the topic or article you need, having looked in the product guide first provides insight on what not to search for, or in other words, better helps you focus your search terms. With that said, there are times no matter how well you've looked or searched, you may not find the specific answer you're looking for. Or maybe it just seems you're not getting the right terminology down to find the related content. In either of those cases, or where you feel you just can't find results on your own, that's where our support team comes in. Requesting assistance is pretty straightforward. You can contact our support team via phone or email. However, the most expedient way is directly through Tecla Structures by navigating to the File and then Help menu. Once you select Contact Support, a form will appear in which you can populate the specifics of your question or issue. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching. Want to learn more about this topic or how to get started with Tecla Structures? Just check out the video's description for additional links to our user assistance page or our Getting Started Guide.